Jean Martel was born June 25, 1963 in Salamanca, Spain. Martel's mother's name is Nicole Perron and father Emily Martel. Martel traveled to many countries such as France, Mexico, and Costa Rica as a child because his father was posted as a diplomat for the Canadian government at the time of his birth, meaning his family couldn't have a permanent home for a while. Although when Martel was in high school, his family finally settled in Montreal, Canada. For high school, Martel attended Trinity College School, which was a boarding school located in Port Hope, Ontario. For college, Martel spent his first three years at Trent University, and then spent his last year at Concordia University, earning a bachelor's degree in philosophy. After college, Martel worked many small jobs, including a security guard and a librarian. At age 27, Martel finally committed to becoming a writer. Martel's first published book was called The Facts Beyond the Helsinki Rocamadios in 1993. The story is a collection of many short stories dealing with themes of illness and grief. It also won the 1991 Journey Prize. Martel's next story was called Self, which uses gender roles and identity as his main plot focuses. In 2002, Martel wrote his most successful novel, The Life of Pi. Martel was inspired to write this story after visiting many zoos, churches, temples, and mosques for 13 months in India. Martel was also inspired by Max and the Cats, a book about a man who was stuck to survive on a lifeboat with a jaguar, but in the end, the man was hallucinating a jaguar the entire time. Likewise, Life of Pi is about a boy named Basin or Pai Patel, who was stranded in the Pacific Ocean with a 450 pound Bengal tiger named Richard Parker, who he eventually tames. As a teenager in Pondicherry, India, Pai describes his family including himself, his parents, and his brother Ravi. He is constantly exploring new opportunities and learning many odd and exciting things. Pai's father is the owner of the Pondicherry Zoo, where Pai learns much about animals and how to take care of them. Pai grew up a Hindu, but discovers a Catholic faith from a priest named Father Martin. He then meets Mr. Kumar, a Muslim of some standing who converts Pai to Islam. Therefore, Pai openly practices all three religions devotedly. During a chaotic storm, the ship is sunk, along with Pai's family still in it. However, Pai survives, landing on a lifeboat, along with a zebra, a spotted hyena, an orangutan, and a Bengal tiger, Richard Parker. Pai survives 227 days in the Pacific before being rescued on a beach in Mexico, although he realizes that his best friend has left him. The novel ties themes of religion, survival, and storytelling into its primary focus. Pai is forced to choose to survive with the ferocious Richard Parker, or simply give up on everything he has accomplished in life. The book also shows how far someone is willing to go to survive no matter the standards. Religion is important to Pai because to him, religion lets people make a leap of faith and have them hold close to what they believe in. The lifeboat is a symbol in the story representing Pai's sturdy faith. Storytelling is portrayed as a choice. The most important to Martel lets the reader choose what they want to believe of Pai's story and life. Life of Pi won the 2002 Man Booker Prize, as well as many other awards. Martel's next book written is called We Eat the Children Last, which is about experimental medical treatment and human consumption, although it didn't sell nearly as well as The Life of Pi. In 2010, Martel wrote his most recent novel, called Beatrice and Virgil. Beatrice and Virgil is a novel about a struggling author named Henry, who wishes to write a meaningful story about the events of the Holocaust. When he fails, he and his wife Sarah move, and Henry goes to visit one of his fans who acquired his help. The fan is an owner of a taxidermy shop, also named Henry, and asks Henry to offer for help finishing his play he started long ago. Henry obliges and discovers Beatrice and Virgil in the taxidermist's back office, which turns out to be the main characters in the taxidermist's play. Beatrice is an average female donkey, while Virgil is a male howler monkey, both of which were stuffed by a taxidermist. 
As a taxidermist is the very secret of man, he tells Henry the story of Beatrice and Virgil, and why these particular animals are important to him. After Henry continues to read a taxidermist's play, he realizes that fate brought him to this shop, as the play is about the Holocaust. Only the victims of the Holocaust are replaced with animals. Martel uses animals instead of people in the story, because he wants readers to feel pity for the animals, and not intentionally feel sympathy and horror of the similar events that happen to humans. Martel uses some similar themes in this story compared to Life of Pi, such as storytelling and the will to survive. Storytelling is used to express opinions, and how they can change someone's ideas or concerns. Martel wants the reader much like Life of Pi to make a tough choice on what they choose to believe. It is shown as the taxidermist reads parts of his play to Henry, and it connects the events to the Holocaust and its severity to the play. The will to survive is important as it shows what people or animals would do to exist. In Martel's stories, he usually demonstrates the determination and toughness of people and animals as a whole. In the taxidermist's play, Beatrice and Virgil do all they can to escape the horrors they face every day they live. Martel's most recent book was written in 2012. It is another collection of short stories called 101 Letters to a Prime Minister, which deals with some political and literary levels. Martel owes credits to Dante's Divine Comedies, his biggest inspiration in writing. And as in 2014, Martel still continues to write about whatever inspires him, and makes readers think in his stories rather than just read words. When not traveling, Martel currently resides in Saskatoon, Canada, where he enjoys being a renowned writer.